right, so we are two days out today. Yesterday was the first carb up day, and I think I gained like three or four kilos from yesterday. A little bit lost definition. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a small pump workout. It's not really a workout, we're just gonna squeeze the muscle, we don't go to failure, we just use lightweight, we don't wanna stress our body but we try to push all that water and glycogen inside the muscle and keep the metabolism on while we're carping up more. Um, so after this, we're gonna hit the road and go to Banner Cambriu. Um, feeling great, I slept well, still smiling. Um, I've been practicing some posing, planning out the routine. So <laughs> I still haven't finalizing my posing routine and we're two days out but I'm not stressing about that that will be great um, other than that things are great we're still eating carbs today uh, water intake is at 1.5 liters sodium is pretty much off right now uh, we are taking a lot of vitamin C which helps to push extra water out of your body as well and that's it let's hit the gym let's see what i look like with small pump and enjoy the process It's a, it's a different look. Um, not ready. Um, the water is moving fast to the muscle. I start pumping up. It just pretty much sucks the water in. Pump comes up pretty fast. It's just a couple of squeezing exercises and veins are already popping out. I feel like I can eat a lot more carbs. I just have to be careful with that sodium intake and water intake I'm not using any diuretics I would rather come a little bit soft and big than dry as a raisin with no muscles because uh, you know I'm doing a bodybuilding not a classic physique so the goal is just to try to bring out that round muscle that round muscle that Dennis James look not there yet, but that's the goal. But 
Yeah. Oh, that looks so much better comparing to yesterday. Look at that. Wow. The cuts are so much deeper now. No. I'm surprised to see this actually. Legs usually come at last. Usually the water retention is in the legs. Wow. Not too shabby for five weeks of dieting, right? <laughs> That is a deep cut right there. Nice. Yeah. Everything going according to the plan. We keep filling up this baby more carbs let's see if I can make like two three more kilos then dry it out a little bit Amazing. how many apps you have like 45 <laughs> Abs used to be the worst part in my physique. This year I've been just fucking demolishing them every single fucking morning. Every single fucking morning, guys. I've been really pushing them ab workouts. <clears throat> All right, let's keep pumping up a little bit. Okay. Now this particular machine is Pretty awesome because I can do flies for pecs, I can do side laterals, and I can squeeze the latissimus. So, what's the difference? Pretty much, this is what I'm doing with the pecs. I'm leaning, leaning back like this, and I'm pressing forward and squeezing my chest. So, now it's all pectorials. But if I want to do it for the lats, I come real close. And I imagine pulling like this. I keep my fingers like a hook and I don't move anything else than my humerus. So I can squeeze. So it's kind of like a pull down, but without bicep activity. You changed a lot while this training. Yeah, pushing out the water a little bit too.
Yep, I think that's it. So now, we're gonna keep eating carbs, a little bit of sweet potatoes, rice, fish, egg whites, rice flakes, and rice cakes. That's the plan. And let's see how it goes. Hopefully tomorrow it's gonna be a whole new version again. So, and today we're gonna to do some posing. But today is an easy day, we just travel and that's it. Tomorrow we have the athletes meeting, signing up for the show, meeting the other athletes as well. So it's gonna be great. And the location of the show is, it's not that far. The location is in pretty good spots, so yeah. That's it for the training wise, work is done. No more cardio, no more training. It's just eating and posing. That's what's up. Let's hit the road. And we are on the move. Arrival to destination, approximately two hours. And I'm having food. Melissa's driving. And look at this. So, time to carb up. <clears throat> Enjoy the ride. Ananas, ding, 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 ding. You didn't see that one coming, no. <laughs> Melissa did. She's been smelling this fart for the past oh my god. half an hour. Oh my god, I've been eating so much food today, guys, that my <laughs> my stomach is just a little bit upset from all the calories. Oh my god. So much gas, guys. And the girls. Uh, I'm so fucking hungry right now. Pito! <laughs> Pima! <laughs> but yeah, we arrived to this Airbnb um, after we came in. I ate another tilapia and jasmine rice meal and after that I just hit the bed. I slept like three hours. I probably slept like half of the car drive. I, I ate half of the time and the other half I just slept. Then I, <laughs> then I got here, I ate and I slept again. I woke up, smoked joint and now eating again. So eating and sleeping, that's what's up. <laughs> Melissa went to Shushi with his uh, with her friends, so I had some quality me time, which meant sleeping and farting. <laughs> Do we have a fucking table for this? Is this one? In Finland, we have the skulls are cannit, and you have the skulls are fart. <laughs> no, 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 open, 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 this picture looks very orange. Do you like lipstick? Lipstick? Do you have lipstick? Yeah. <laughs> lipstick. You asked why this house looks so much orange. Oh fuck what the camera is doing. Yeah? It may be, maybe it looks orange because of my farts. Your eyes are just like... So burned from all the gas. Yeah, the, even the camera burned. <laughs> I don't know, but this whole picture, it looks very orange. But this house is not that orange. Maybe there is some... No. I really don't know. Because this house is not orange. But okay, let's have... Let's clean a little bit. Let's have the crepes. This is my house. Okay, here we go. I still don't get why this house looks orange, but okay, let's get over that. So here we come, here is the door. They got a pretty big TV. 
yeah, TV is nice. Let's do it. And I like this this furniture under the TV with the mirrors. It's very nice. Yeah, table, kitchen. This is like modern house as a Brazilian house. Yeah, like. very typical. At least here in Banner Camboriú. Yeah. So, but I like it. It feels modern, you know. I like the floor. It's clean, shiny. Yeah. And the location was good. How about the price? Was it good? It was 50 euros per night. Very cheap. But yeah, in this in this city, this is very expensive city. You can compare Balneário Camboriú with other cities in Brazil. This is an expensive one. This is kind of like a the Dubai of Brazil, if you might say so. Yeah, but this is the winter time, so it's a lot more cheap. Oh yeah, now. yeah. You come here during the summer. Damn, the prices are like three times higher. Yeah. Oh fuck this. Pineapple tastes so fucking good. I could fucking fuck the whole fucking pineapple. There is another one. Oh yeah. You just can get, just stick it up in my ass. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was. You said that you can stick it, stick it to your ass, but I thought that you can maybe do some hole in there, but. You you want to put in your ass? It's, it's well, I never fucked a pineapple before, so now that you mentioned creating a hole there, I can see the possibility of me trying oh, this shut out. Shut up! I have been without sex too long. And so don't make I fantasies. I see you guys on OnlyFans. Timo versus no, pineapple. No, don't make fantasies with pineapple. I'm get I'm getting jealous. Silence. <laughs> Timo. <sighs> So, do we have like a bowl or something where I can... Nope. Yeah, I, I think I saw this is, this is to the oven. No, it's too heavy. This. Take this one. In front of your eyes. It was straight on the line of your eyes. But we are like this, this at home too, yeah. all the time. Just let me know, guys, if if there's a cure for autism. <laughs> no, I think autism people are even smarter. Than yeah. That. Yeah, they can actually come to ten. Yeah. Yeah. When you see our training videos, and we're counting out reps. Usually, cut silence comes after the number eight. Eight. <laughs> I normally work. count very wrong when I count yeah. here, and then I'm like nine, seven, eleven. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I forgot the ten. Okay, uh, next. I don't remember anymore. What was it? The number next. Uh, maybe 14? Oh, oh sorry. That, how fucking retarded. So, I mean, guys, uh, this is a, this is a trash can. Uh. Dude, my balls couldn't even fit there and they're not <laughs> big. What the fuck is this? You call this trash can? Maybe it's a big can. What the fuck this is? From tank. Our parents will be very proud of this video. Like always. <laughs> you see that? I cleaned. Well done. At least half of the dishes. Okay. Now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's progression. This is gonna be the last meal of the day. I'm gonna sit there on the sofa eat my pineapple while Melissa sucks my dick, and we watch some Netflix. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tällä hetkellä mun kilpailukauden ajan mun kehorakennuskoulu on miinus 50 prosenttia. Jos sua itseään kiinnostaa oppia enemmän treenaamisesta ja ravinnosta ja sä haluat itseesi kertä lisää tietoa sen sijaan, että sä mahdollisesti maksaisit toisille ihmisille koko ajan rahaa, että he valmentavat sua, niin mä suosittelen kehorakennuskoulua. Mun kehorakennuskoulussa mä olen sun opettaja, ensin sinun valmentaja. 
Sä et ole minun valmennettava, vaan sinä olet minun oppilas. Ja mun velvollisuus on jakaa kaikki tämä tieto sinulle. Sä voit käydä kehorakennuskoulua täysin omaan vauhtiin. Opintoluennot tapahtuvat videoselityksenä, eli sun ei tarvitse lukea mitään järkyttävän suuria kirjoja oppiaksesi, vaan ainut mitä sun täytyy tehdä on laittaa video päälle, kuunnella mitä mä sulle kerron ja ottaa muistinpanoja ylös ja sisäistää se kaikki tieto. Mä itse suosittelen, että kehorakennuskoulua sä käyt 15-30 minuuttia päivässä maksimissa läpi, koska tätä tietoa noista opintoluennoista tulee erittäin kovaan vauhtiin ja se on kaikista parasta käydä pieni määrä opintoa kerralla läpi, jotta sä pystyt sisäistämään sen tiedon. Kehorakennuskoulussa Mä kerron sulle kaiken, mitä on proteiinit, mitä on hiilihydraatit, mitä on rasva, mitä lihaksia ylipäätään sun keossa on, koska sekin on aika tärkeä ja oleellinen tieto, että sä ylipäätään tiedät, että mitä lihaksia sun keossa on ja kuinka niitä aktivoidaan kuntosalilla. Mä opetan sulle kehorakennuskoulussa, miten sä voit luoda sun oman ruokavalion, miten sä luot sun oman treeniohjelman, lisäravinteet, miten sä poseeraat, jos sä haluat ottaa vaikka kuvia itsestäsi, tai jos sä haluat vaikka nousta kehorakennuslavalle asti. Kehorakennuskoulu sopii siis ihan kaikille ihmisille. Aloittelijoille, jotka eivät tiedä laista mitään, sekä niille ihmisille, jotka ovat tehneet tätä hommaa mahdollisesti 10 vuotta, mutta haluavat viedä tietotaitonsa sekä fysiikkaansa seuraavalle tasolle sekä mahdollisesti kilpailla tai jopa tehdä tästä itselleen ammatin. Eli kehorakennuskoulussa mä en pelkästään opeta sua, miten sä pystyt valmentamaan itse itseäsi ja seuraamaan sun kehitystä ja tehdä muutoksia sun treeniohjelmiin, ruokavalioihin, sun muihin suunnitelmiin, vaan mä opetan sulle myöskin sen, miten sä voit valmentaa muita ihmisiä ja miten sä voit tehdä kehorakennuksesta ja valmentamisesta itsellesi ammatin. Ja sä voit esimerkiksi minun lailla valmentaa muita ihmisiä jopa toiselta puolelta planeettaa internetin välityksellä. Eli jos sä olet intohimoinen ihminen treenaamiseen ja ruokailuun liittyen, tervetuloa mun oppilaaksi. Meillä on myöskin Telegram-ryhmä kehorakennuskoululaisille, jossa oppilaat pääsevät kysymään minulta heidän opettajaltaan mitä tahansa tarvittavaa tietoa kehorakennuksen liittyen. Esimerkiksi, hei Timo, tässä on mun ruokavalio sekä treeniohjelma. Mitä muutoksia mun kannattaa tehdä, kun lähtötilanne on tämä ja mä yritän päästä tänne? tai jos sä tarvitset apua poseraamisessa, tai sulla tulee ylipäätään mitään tähän lajiin liittyvää kysyttävää, niin siellä Telegram-ryhmässä sä pystyt olla suoraan yhteydessä minuun, sekä mikä parasta, sä näet mitä muut oppilaat kysyvät minulta, ja sä pystyt mahdollisesti oppia lisää heidän kysymysten kautta, koska joku toinen ihminen voi mahdollisesti kysyä sellaisen kysymyksen minulta, jota sä itse edes ajattelisi, mutta sitten kun sä kuulet kysymyksen ja minun vastauksen heidän kysymykseen, niin sä opit myöskin heidän perspektiivin kautta. Pidemmittä puheitta, tervetuloa mun oppilaaksi kehorakennuskouluun ja nähdään podcastin parissa.